Yo, this dude! Who should I just say, hell no! No, shoot! He gonna, he... Hey, check out our Patreon in the link below. You'll have access to uncut and upcoming reactions, skits, behind the scenes footage, and so much more. Your support goes a long way to helping us with more reactions and original content. Also, thanks for subbing. Set, Set the, the bell, bell for notifications. notifications. Your boy Rock Lee. Hey, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. JoJo finale is starting now. What's going on, everybody? It's Rock D. Lee in the Rock. house. Direct nasty. Yo, we are jumping into this JoJo reaction, man. Probably the hardest recap of my life, man. I saw what happened, guys. I saw we what happened. We seen it. <laughs> we seen it, right? But I can't explain it. Can't explain it was that. It's beautiful though. Can't explain that. Uh, man. All I know is King, uh, Diablo as is it King? Crimson King. Yes. This is continuously getting bodied by Jorno. Yup. Swipe at this time. Yup. Whole bunch of Diablos behind him. Yup. And he's not changing whatever he's trying to change. I think it's more like yo, this is your fate, and you're trying to change your fate, but you're just not able to change your fate. And Jorno's spitting some stuff. Spin. Well, technically, Requiem spin. Rec like, oh, that's is, right. Journal's there, but Requiem's the one out here mooting the fuck out of this house. The stand, Requiem. The stand, yeah, because he got the arrow in him. Uh, I don't know. I think my running theory with last time, even though I don't think I said it so well, was I think Requiem is just healing, is just imbuing the time that Crimson King's trying to delete with life. And it's like, nope, every time we try to delete it, I'm going to replace it with the correct thing. Because it will regrow. Regrow. Just going to regrow it. That's why he's like like sharks losing teeth. Like ah, bitch, no teeth. Yep, yeah, facts. Just another one. Just another <laughs> one. Yep. Yeah. Yo, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. Even that could be just flat out fucking wrong. I don't know. Cause he even says it, and it's one of those things. Like I want to listen to the MC, but I don't. Cause like what you're witnessing is indeed the truth Who of time. Who said it, Jorno? No, Requiem was talking. Oh, Requiem oh, yeah. Then he's spitting. That's the yeah, character Requiem I was to, just though. spitting. You're right. But I'm like, I'm like, you're spitting, and it's so poetic. But like how much of this is like actual and how much of this is like metaphorical just trash talk. So that's why I'm waiting to get that. That's I'm, fair. Yeah, I'm waiting the to get that, that actual talk. explanation or like, cause you know, that's what they kept Jean Pierre around for. They kept nah. him around cause he's gonna be the one to explain it. He's like, oh. Yeah. So anyways, man, we're gonna jump into this reaction guys. If you're not subscribed, now's a good time to do so. Full reaction, full discussion, we'll be on our Patreon. Also check out our schedule. So you go, so you know what's coming up next. This is a finale. That's in the description and the pinned comment, folks. Hit the bell for notifications because we post content daily and you don't want to miss out. That man put some bass in his voice. Let's jump into JoJo starting now. Jesus, what a up. question. Oh, right back into the house. Yeah, I was going to make sure. I was like, did I play the right episode? Yo, me too, but I knew it was the right one. Oh my god, you oh see his god, head? That eye was loose. Yo! Just hands! Jeez. Nope. Yeah. We got two more episodes. I knew it, man. Always. Look at him just crawling away like a rat. Literally. Oh, hanging on like a rat. Jeez. Oh, he don't know either. Still no strength to that. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Yo, he really gasped, man. Look at him. Oh, it was appropriate to laugh at. Yeah, uh, apparently. Survive? He's crawling into a sewer after getting his ass up. Talk about, I did it. Ha <laughs> ha, I Is did it. Is it was good fortune? Oh no. Oh, druggies. Oh boy. Diablo is shook. Oh, he actually got stabbed. Oh yeah. Oh shit. He barely had enough water. Uh, he's trying to get out the water. Oh, wait, remember here. He would usually did his thing. Yeah. It's like he don't have a stand anymore. They just gonna kill him? Buy some homeless 
This is a fitting depth for this how. Please don't tell me his stand evolves again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's the corners. He dead. Well, he's supposed to be. 30 and 40. He's seen the truth. He didn't drown. See how pale his skin is looking too? Yeah. Oh, he gonna feel it? I can't watch. Ah, Jojo. That's not as bad as I imagine. No sign of hesitation visible? He feels all of that. That's Journal's Requiem. What the hell is happening right now? I can't say anything. Yeah, he got his organs taken out. Whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Over and over again, he gonna die and feel pain. Over and over again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's... What? Oh. What, what? The truth is... He's dying, but he keeps trying to erase it and change it, so he's gonna keep dying. Because the truth is, he's dead. Well, I don't know where will that happen next. When you accept the truth that you're dead, that's when. And then, but then he would die. Yo, he got die from this little girl. Can we heal, Mister? What happened? Why are you still bleeding? The homies, a slave where he was set free. <laughs> Is that too nasty yeah. to eat? And they taste good. <laughs> He's spitting. So hypothetically, vegans would be the best tasting human meat. Oh, I came to the wrong conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, yeah, you did. I right. You did. Nope, I was right. Yep. Yep. Vegans to taste the best hypothetically. Hypothetically. Come for that ass. Oh, we're going back to the beginning. Yeah. Oh, this is how they can't run into jo Jorno. Yeah. He lost his only daughter. Do you pay your taxes? Okay. Oh, he's like, if you pay your taxes, you ain't no gangster. Oh, oh. The law failed him. Here we go. You guys me interrupt her meal? Yo. Is that gonna be Diavolo? Jumped in the courtyard. Whoa. What was it? I knew it. Whenever someone is murdered in this town, I hear about it, my man said. Jeez. He don't believe it. That's how he's like, forget the justice system, forget the government. That's tough. Get this boyfriend to talk. Yo, we just gotta get Moody Blues up there. Yo, facts! Just missed it? Don't touch it. That's the sculpture. Requiem is still in place. Wait, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is happening? That's that's going to be linked to Diavolo because he's still getting bodied. 
And he's gonna die before any of this, the series starts, as far as I'm concerned. Diavolo is a strange boyfriend. A tape recorder? <laughs> Make sure you can't walk. Yo! What the f and it keeps being Mr. Oh my god. It's the same boulder that Shawty was holding when she fell to her doom. Yes. Why is this happening right now? Is Gold Experience's Requiem. Why is everybody going through a Requiem? I thought it'd only be Diavolo. Right now it's Diavolo and Mr. I don't know if everyone else is real right here. Yo, I know, I know. They don't see it? They don't see it? They don't see it? Look all around you. They're gonna hit one. It's gonna be in the middle of the road. Yo, I'm so fucking confused. Is this, I'm His name is Skol I don't know, man. Yo, man, yo, yo my man! Yo, it's always yo, on sight. Yo, he got tired of it. That's Bruno. What? Yeah. Yo! Bro, honestly, honestly. So first of all, before I even talk about the episode, I don't know if these people are gonna like my reaction, bro. Cause we ain't talk, we ain't jump, we ain't do, yo. Cause I'm just like. What the fuck's happening, oh bro? God, yo. <laughs> I can't. Like, I can't. There's nothing to say other than I don't know what the fuck just happened. I'm clocking everything, I'm absorbing it, but I don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm in the same we, boat. We went from Girono fighting Diavolo. No, not even, not even, not even. Girono already beat Diavolo. Not even, not even. Requiem beat Diavolo. Yes. He crawls into a sewer, gets stabbed by a hobo, legit gets stabbed, can't erase time, whatever. He's just bleeding out to the Yeah, that's a, a key addict. point. Yeah. Because he would never have got stabbed in normal stabbed, circumstances. Ever. Or even, yeah, not even close. Not he even close. He was like, nope, it's not gonna happen him to like, me. Oh, there's people back here. A race that they even saw him and just kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his back. Uh -uh. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. He's not putting himself fully in the uh, elevator. Dude, he don't seem like such a bad guy right now. So, there's so much weirdness going on. Yeah. Sculptor for who? Listen to this man. This don't gonna follow you. You follow this. Oh. <sighs> oh, Buccioletti Bucciolet, gave him permission to act like this. So they were attacked by Stan right before they went to go to Giorno? He's a Stan user. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. It was foretelling his death. Slaves of fate. Rolling, Rolling stones. stones, of course. Yo, yeah, yo, yeah, I, I don't think he's a guilty person. Shit. Oh, come on. Yeah. Whoa. So she ended her life so her father could live. Oh my god. That blows her five responsibility. Yeah. He can't even kill him if I understand this right. He's about to. 
He's about to tell him Buchilati is with you. Oh, shit. Now it's all coming together. Thank God. Yes. Just like the sculptor said. Yep. Oh, shit. It's all coming together. Yeah. Buchilati knew he was going to die before any of this even happened. He, yes. he knew from the jump, bro. Yes. And he knew. He's in denial with Jorno. Oh. No, just him. Jorno's not in denial. Just Mr. That's what I said. He's in denial with Jorno. When he was telling Jorno, let's go back to Bucciolati, I just didn't say it right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See? Then what? Then what? Change its shape. Oh no! Yo! And changing shape. What does that mean? That's not what he misunderstood what he meant by change of shape. But we made things worse. Oh, shit. You're screwed if you touch it. Yo. You'll die. No, it's not you'll die. He misunderstood. Yo, he's wrestling fate, bro. Literally. Yeah. He's literally wrestling fate, fighting fate. You can't be mad at Mr. in this situation. He's not accepting it. He's not accepting... Oh, damn, it's like a stalker. Oh. Yo, it's the, Bruciletti was like, hell no. Nah. I don't even know why I'm getting hyped. Just seeing uh, Bruciletti in action again. Yo, right? Yo. He said, like, what the fuck? I don't know what Mr. Talk about. No. Look at it. No, shoot. <laughs> He go, he... What? And Fugo? This dude is... How he... You know who's walking and who's not walking. Fugo can't walk but Mr.'s walking. You seriously defy this all logic. This I didn't have a car at the beginning. He's not gonna tell him. <laughs> listen to your summary of it. I ain't listen to you. You can't summarize nothing. Once you awaken. Wow. If Mesa had just accepted fate, it only would have been Bucciolati getting punched through the chest. Yes. Everybody else lives. Yes. And Mr. won't know that. He doesn't know the consequences of his actions. What is it? It's another stone. Whose face? Oh, she's in the turtle. Yo, yo, yo! I thought. <laughs> yeah, they really fucking got us, bro. With the Trish part? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they got me, bro. They did. Paul Nuff know what's up. Says <laughs> my Oh damn. Damn. Go get some, mister. They was on each other's bodies, I mean. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, no. Nuts. You dead ass. Poetic ass ending, bro. Poetic as 
fuck? But the timer is still going. How much? Damn, I must have. I don't know what happened. Oh, can we didn't talk much in the beginning? Yeah, look at the statue. Statues are always showing us everything, but you can't see it because you ain't watch it yet. Crazy modern crusaders. Yo, honestly, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. I like the ending. I like the ending. I was skeptical, man. I got scared, bro. I got scared. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, we're gonna give you one more stand battle that you didn't know you needed to see. I didn't, I didn't think they can make it conclusive enough. Yeah. I, was, I was expecting them to still fight something and get some other conclusion. Now the fight's yeah, over. No. Fight's been over for two episodes, fam. Now we're gonna hit you with some 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 shit, bro. Because started, it's like we're gonna show you what started all this. This all started because some nigga lost his daughter and was like, yo, I need you to go, I need you to go handle this for me. And then the stone just started showing up in their lives, man. So I almost wanna blame the florist, man. It's Mr.'s fault, but it's not Mrs. fault. Mr. Understandably, that's why even the artist said everything. That's why it's so perfectly conclusive. Yeah. Mr. tried to defy fate, and by doing so, he couldn't save Bruchelletti, but he would, he caused more people to die, right? But the same, look at Golden Experience Requiem. Jeez, Yo, yeah. epic. But but at the same time, the, the yeah, I figured something was off, man. Yeah, that was too much time in the back, right? Yeah. This is the intro intro. Yeah, stop. No way. Wait a minute. Is this what they're showing us? It's Jono the boss. Jono became the boss. And they kissed the up. hand of the boss. Damn! Ooh, damn. He Yo, took over. Look at the legs crawling that, black. The gang stars, bro. Girono's the top, bro. That's been the intro all along, bro. That was the hand. Crazy. They ain't show Trish. She ain't about the gangster life. Everybody gone. Fugo never came back. I thought Fugo was gonna come back. Now he no, left. No, man. Fugo, he left, bro. Crazy. Yeah, I was saying. Um, even the sculptor got it. He was like, yo, if this nigga just accepted fate, yeah, it would have got been... so much easier. But it was like, but you know what? He was willing to jump off a building to destroy this to thing. To change his fate. So Maybe he have a higher calling. It, it higher means purpose. something. Means... It means something. Oh, yeah, it means something. That's why it's so perfect. You can't say shit about Mister. You, you can't. Can. It's damned if you did, damned if you didn't. Because not in my mind, objectively in my mind, I heard the sculptor, but I'm up already from a non-gangster point of view. I'm like, yo, just touch the stone. Sorry, bro. Whenever this happens, it happens. Cause it's like, it's like, it's like, oh, he could die a painless death. You don't know. He said years, months, weeks. He, no, he'll he miss said, nah, he said, uh, uh, like weeks a month. Basically, I th that thing was gonna happen in the next 365 days. Is how I interpreted it. It was soon. It, it was a definitive timetable, but it certainly wasn't going to be 50 years from uh, now. Because it's one of those things where, like, if it was going to be 50 years from now, well, two things. If it was going to be 50 years from now, like, fuck it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, oh, yeah, he'd be like 80, 70, whatever. Not saying that that's, everyone wants to live as long as possible, well, almost. And the, th the thing is, you, you saw uh, the age for the most part. It was it, pretty soon. Yeah, it's pretty soon, man. In the next five, 10 years, it tops, tops. Nah, but based that's on culture, it was that year, bro. Yeah. It was that year. Well, that's what I believe. I'm just saying, even if you don't listen to what he's saying, you look at yeah. the face, you're like, yeah, he's still young. So five, 10 years tops without listening to the dialogue. But based on that dialogue, yeah, it was gonna happen right away, bro. So to take this home, right, uh, between the, this was tying into journal talking about truth to yeah. Diavolo. And then, yo, you can't change the truth. You can't change the truth. And then you, you, it's etched in stone. You not accepting the truth, Diavolo kept making it worse, but that dude just keeps dying. He just kept dying over and over and over. Yeah, he's facing he his own misery. He didn't want to accept his requiem, so he had his own misery. In a way, the same way, you one can almost say, yeah, Mister, not letting him touch the rock turned one life into three and turned what would have been an easy, painful death. Who knows? Maybe you know what Painless, it would have been. But yeah, 
He would have just died following Diavolo the first time to come back to life with Golden Experience. That would have been his death. It would have been at the hands of Diavolo on those stairs. He would have died. It would have been quick, painless because it would have been a time jump kill. They would have went on to try to do everything without Puccelli, right? But because Mr. jumped off with the stone and turned one life into three, it dragged on. So that's why we lost Nara. That's why we lost Abakio. And then we still lost Mutual. Almost like too. so sudden too. Like, like So why? sudden, yeah. That's why I was like, I even said it. I said, I said, I said Girono, but I meant to say Narantia. But like his death was just quick. There was no, it was like, as soon as they started telling the backstory or the future, man, I want to do this. You're like, oh shit, here we go. And the show's like, yup, here we go, nigga. Yup. Now there's something I got too, as I was listening to you. What's that? Now I'm gonna go on a ledge and support Mr. Denying the that truth. That first fate? Yeah, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I mean, why not? Listen, it'd be stupid for me to say if I wasn't in that situation hearing what he heard, I wouldn't go through the same lengths. I don't know if I'd jump out the window. I jump out the window. I ain't jumping out the window to save you, buddy. I'm sorry, I do a lot of things. By the way, Fugo could get out that car and Mr. hit the car and just got up. I'm not, I didn't. Gangsters. I'm just saying that's that's not how it should have worked. No, not at all. But fate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I don't think I didn't notice that viewers like yeah, Fugo should have got out the car and Mr. should have been taken to a hospital. But whatever. They, whatever. Yo, he literally said it while he was on top of the room. Like damn, he's like I guess I guess the sculptor was right. My face wasn't on. It's not my time. Cause he's like, he's like oh shit, I'm alive. And Fugo is like Fugo's like yo, you good? Yeah. But that's not where I was gonna go with it, man. Where I was gonna go with it is. Back to what the sculptor was saying, maybe they have a higher purpose or a higher meaning or whatever. Cause hypothetically, had Bruno had the easier death, mm -hmm. Trish wouldn't have got saved, Crimson King could have won, et cetera, et cetera. Cause I'm just going into what Fair. he said, like a higher, the, 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 well he said like they have a higher purpose or a higher meaning and they could change like lives or something yeah. like that. So it was, yeah, Bruno would have died and everyone else would have been fucked up, right? Or, Bruno delays death, two more people die, Trish has a better life, they actually defeat the boss, you know. Things get better in Italy. Somebody Whatever the branches, purpose was, yeah. it's solidified. But it's not for you to know the answer. He just threw it out there and then just let it go. Because it ended up being the truth. At the end of the day, Mr. set their fate by, say, by stopping the stone that day. If he doesn't stop the stone, they all died. The reason Requiem worked in their favor was because fate was already decided by Mister before any of this shit happened. Fate was decided, so their Requiem, that's why Jonah was like, deep down, I know it's over. There's nothing left to be done. It's been, the truth has been decided. It was decided before any of this started. They were always gonna beat the boss, but not because of anything they could have done, because of one fucking sculpture, Rolling Stones, and because of Mister's willingness to go out of his way to save Buccelli. Fucking A, bro. But it, and the thing about this whole fake thing, right? Is like, you're gonna die. Like, once you're gonna die, you're gonna die. It might delay your death, might cause more people to die. See, so then, hypothetically, was the other two fated to die or not? They were fated to die. Once, once Mr. fought fate. Ooh, actually, Mr. Now you see what I'm saying. If Mr. didn't fight, but then Mr. was fated to fight. See? Mr. followed fate's plan. Yeah. You see how it gets complicated? It just, you can just keep going forever and ever and ever. That's how I was like, yeah, I'm done, I'm good. Yeah. He didn't, like, to me, it's not like Mr. changed fate. He was fated to do that. That was always part of fate's plan, you see? That's why I like an ending like this, by the way. That's like an ending like, whoa. What did, what did he mean by that? It's up for interpretation. Yeah, take it. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right Jeez. with it. I'm all right with it. No, it's a good ending. I mean- I like it more than part three's ending. See, once, now that we're at the end and I can understand it, it's like, okay. So after he got murdered and he got stabbed by the hobo, that fight was over. This is, this is the philosophy part. Now I'm like, okay, I separated it. Yeah, fuck Diavolo, the way he died, the way everything went down, that was one ending. Then comes the talk no jutsu where it's like, this is the culmination of everything we showed you through the part. 38 and 39's episode makes 37's finale understood yes. to me. Like, oh, I get yeah. it. Oh, yeah, I yeah, get yeah, 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 yeah. So I, it should have been 36, 37. Good, that's a finale. And then it's like, here's the prologue to the season so you understand everything that we showed you throughout the season. Yeah, but I, I feel like you couldn't show, because if you show 38 by itself, 
And you ended? It would have ended us. Like, what the fuck? So now I think, I think these I two. 38, oh, did I not say 38, 39? I said these last two. Uh, I'm not gonna say what you said. What I heard was 39 by itself and the other th three no, episodes wrong. are no, together. No, my no, bad. Wrong. All right, no, no, my no, bad. No, 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 no. Might be. I said, I might have said it wrong. No. These last two, the way we watch them, yeah, that's what I was saying. In my mind, okay. Diavolo's death stopped. That was 37. 38, 39 is, it's like, here's, we're showing these two episodes. Watching these will make you understand everything you saw in part five. Same page. And can tie off together beautiful bow philosophically. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to say something also controversial, too. I kind of felt without these two, like had they beat uh, 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 Diavolo with the Golden Requiem, no people gonna think. I didn't think it was epic enough. It wasn't epic enough. I actually find this more epic because of the profoundness. Because Golden Requiem just bodied him, bro. Just absolutely bodied him and hit him with some logic. I was like, yo, he's strong. He's OP. But I didn't feel like, oh, life's get my back's against the wall or nothing like that. You know. It's, we're just gonna get that feeling earlier. That's, I don't know. Um, Point is, I like this finale. So I'm trying to say, well, all I'm trying to say is, I like 39 as a finale, and I'm glad they did 39 as a finale instead of some, like a 37 finale. That being said though, they always intended that this was the finale yeah, anyway. That's, that's what I was that's gonna go key. with it. I was like, well, if they weren't gonna do 38, 39. They would've made 37. They, yeah, 37 yeah. would've had to yeah, be yeah, that yeah, thing. Yeah, it would've had to be that thing. So, that's why for me, I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm 100 percent good with it. And I like that it's not like stagnant, like every other thing. Now it's like you could take a piece, take take a piece away and think take something away and think about it. Yeah. But yeah, my last thought is that Diavolo, Diavolo he's in hell. Like they've all to the purpose, all metaphors, whatever, dude's in hell. Eternal torment. He's in his own hell, yeah. Yeah. For the rest of time. Cause all the other shit that he was doing. You saw a whole bunch of them. Yeah. It ain't gonna stop. It ain't gonna Me, stop. Diavolo dying this mundane way? Yeah, nigga. Hit by a car, nigga. Who else didn't want to go down by a mundane way? It was Kira, wasn't it? Like, it was the just, the, that the they both died him. under the fucking tire. Ambulance, bro, but now he has a whole bunch. Uh, oh, yeah, Diavolo's yeah, gonna have a whole bunch. He gonna have a verse with Jono, or Joe Taro stopped time and bodied him too. He gonna get crushed by everybody. He has all the time to experience gonna, all this stuff. I hope he has one when Arincia fucks him up on the beach. Yeah, like hey literally. Hey bitch. Literally. He should've died there. Yeah. Bitch ass. So anyways guys, thanks for watching our JoJo reaction. If you're not subscribed, now's a good time to do so. Full reaction, full discussion will be on our Patreon. Also, also we got schedule, especially since this is the finale. Look out for it on what the next upcoming reaction is going to be. It's in the description and the pinned comment, folks. Hit the bell for notifications because we post content daily and you don't want to miss out. Rock D. Lee. Direct and nasty. Out. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Your boy Rock Lee. Hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and give us a follow on this Twitch channel. We appreciate you guys' support. John it. Wait, 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 I'm gonna laugh. Okay. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and check out our Patreon for full and upcoming reactions. Wow.